Hello everybody and welcome back to Born Losers Gaming and welcome back to Hollow Knight. We have the true baby. <laughs> we have, oh yeah, I forgot, yeah, last part you said, Ian, Ian, get the baby. And I, I when I picked Glowing Womb last part, right? I was upset. I was like, yeah, I got the baby. I got, I have many babies. Like, how dare you? <laughs> how like, dare you replace our child with that thing? <laughs> <laughs> I want the baby, not babies, plural. <laughs> Uh, those are those are little grenades that pop out of our womb. Those aren't babies. I mean, honestly. Oh my God, our baby saved us. Uh, yeah. True though. Uh, you might notice we have the baby equipped because what I didn't realize there's a the fire here in the hive. Um, I wasn't expecting to actually do more of the hives up on part, but uh, there's a few things left to do here outside of just the what we're assuming is another mask piece. Yeah. If not a soul vest, I, I don't know for sure. I but, think um, it was a mask piece. Wait, is this? Oh, it's up. Sorry. I was like, yeah. where, where is it? Like, how have we not found it yet? Right there. Here we go. Yo, what up? Fight time. Oh, it's a tall boy. And I miss. You can't like a big Long Island iced tea kind of ghost. Ooh, I like your, I like your descriptions. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's just, that is just a good description. Thank you. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, I, fire, oh, fire. oh, my gosh. Fire I bad. thought it was dead, but it was just juicing up. <laughs> yeah. Out of the gym, just juicing up. That was so funny. Mm -hmm. That was. I was like, oh wow, you beat it so quickly. <laughs> it starts pumping out fire. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm oh, dying. I'm dying. You should not do that, baby. Are you gonna? Okay, cool. Okay, I'm like, am I actually gonna die to one of these things now? Hello, baby, helped. Okay, so let's talk really quick. So that was one of the flames, right? Yeah. There are. Four total. There are four total flames to pick up. Mm -hmm. When in the previous situations, there's only been three. Right. Three to get in the world, and then that's what you do. You just you get the three of them. So I this I'm a little nervous about overfeeding the baby, right? I'm feeling like <laughs> like the grandmama that that you know the parents say please only feed them once, and then the grandma's like, well, what's a what's a Sunday between family, right? You, you know. got it. Listen, if you're not giving your grandkid a whole ham, one entire ham, and then asking why you didn't clean the plate off, and then like, yeah, uh, me and my cousin used to do that. Like we'd go over to my uncle's house, Oops. Uh, and he would have made a ham, right? Yeah. And it's like, yeah, this will last us a couple of weeks, and then me and my cousin, we'd just go in there and eat a whole ham. Really? We would, we would destroy that ham. Oh. Oh, 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 I found the secret. Oh, I saw nice. go over here. But that's actually crazy, Casey. It was fun. <laughs> it was my, tasty. My, my parents got mad at one of my grandparents because uh, they would feed me ice cream multiple times a day. Oh, no. Just because I would ask it, and they'd be like, oh, you sweet summer child. It's all oh, yours. Oh, I gotcha. Man, <laughs> my my grandparents bye bye. were some... Uh, some butter and cheese people. Oh. Like ow. everything my grandma cooked had a whole ass stick of butter in it and Ooh. half a block of cheddar cheese. Uh, was your grandmother Paula Dane? Uh, you know, she was a Texas grandma, so it her food was very, very tasty. <laughs> Oh it my was, god. It was real good, but it was not good for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I find that there is a disparity on things that taste good and things that are good for you. Yeah. Uh, I, life's unfair. Not sure what the big man up top was thinking yeah. when they designed that one. Oh no. There oh, we nice. go. I was worried oh. that baby was going to not help you. I was there. too. I was worried the baby was going to kill it. Yeah. I think we had the exact same thought. Oh, and more over here, Ooh. though. Maybe just a, a short way out. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Nice. Yep. I like. I kind of like that the only thing strong enough to destroy chunks of hive is the bees. Yeah, it, it, it is. It is actually pretty cool. Okay, I think we're gonna do a quick skip as I do have a bit more exploring to do. Oh, I, uh, I want to go back skips. up to the cast off shell really quickly. See what's up there. After that, yeah, come back up here. Talk to the lady. Um, oh, also there was there's a shell thing up here, right? Mm-hmm. I don't remember if there's anything there, but I do want to go back there now that we have uh, all three, what I'm assuming are the spells. Yeah. See if there's anything else about that area. And from there, deep nest. Let's go. All right. Bit of a detour. We're down here because I figured I can grab this. I could grab this grub and then get to over here to go to where I'm trying to go. Nice. So I figured might, might as well grab this, right? I think the order I want to do these in, I'm going to get this one third. 
and then I'll collect <clears throat> this one last. It's kind of what the order that I'm thinking of and doing. What's your uh, What's your purpose behind that order? I don't know. Just a little worried. Like, why is there four, right? And I'm thinking that maybe there's a reason that the one farthest away has something special about it. <laughs> really? And you think yeah. the furthest away one is uh, the the mask? Oh, everything. All of their hits are two damage. Shit. Okay, that explains a lot. Hmm. I mean, they're the big one. Yeah. The bigger they are, the harder they punch you with fire, I think is the saying. That is, I've heard that saying a lot, actually. I, yeah, are me they? too. That's why arsonists are always really short. Otherwise, they'd be overpowered. Oh, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Don't hurt me. You can't Thank just you. be saying fuck all the time in front of our baby. Sorry, sorry. Listen, that baby's going to grow up to say fuck. You know it. Stop. I know it. Stop. No, this yes, is our, this is our yes. little grim baby. Yeah, little grim, gr little grim fuck baby, <gasps> Casey. Stop. <laughs> I'm not I'm not going to. I don't like it. I don't <laughs> like you saying the F word in front of grim child. Re uh, Granted, Grim probably says the F word. Grim probably gets the F word. Do you? Mm. Mm. Okay. I mean, can you? Are uh, you? Uh, yeah. Are you thirsty for Grim? I am not, but I am aware that there are who other are... people are thirsty for Grim. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. One hundred percent. Do you really think otherwise? Yeah. I mean. Yeah. No. Yeah, I know. Trust me. Listen, I'm aware. I remember the like fourth Google image search of Hornet. Okay. <laughs> I, do too. I know. I know the people that play this game <laughs> have a thing. It's it's genuinely For tall it's, it's, skinny folks that want to murder us. It's Grim fits the bill. It's engraved in my head that one. What uh, Hornet's thick ass? Yeah, I <laughs> I told one of my friends who played this game about Hornet's canonical thick ass. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. They didn't believe me. That's and weird. Why? It's weird that they didn't believe you. I know. We... It's almost like she's drawn like a stick figure. Yeah, something about. Stick figures being drawn uh, makes people really want them to have just the fattest of asses. Yeah, like if you if you really just drew a stick figure and slapped a hornet head on it, though, I mean, that's yeah. body accurate. <laughs> you did it. You've done it. You you drawn hornet. Just make Good sure job. the limbs are, are pointy. They got pointy limbs. Throw a little towel around her shoulders. Yep. Yep. Just Actually, it's like a pleated skirt around her throat. Her fashion choices are questionable. Don't. Don't, Don't worry be about her, it, Casey. You gotta, you gotta cool it. All right. <laughs> are you, are you, are you done? Are you, have you, have you cooled it? Yeah. So I mean, at, we're wearing like a torn up beach towel, mm -hmm. so. So look at this. Look at where we are right now. Yeah, it's raining. No, there's a grub here. Oh. Ow, my we're bones. Slapped. Ow. What am I doing? I'm not I jumping. No, you're just standing no, there. No, you have to just stand there. If you see me fight these things, you stand there. Uh -huh. You double jump away. You're trying yeah. as many hits as possible. Yeah, but when you fail to double jump away, it looks hilarious. It's like you're just standing there like, oh, I wonder what's going to happen. Ow! God, that was so... Okay, I'm just going to stand. Just don't do that. Oh, my God. Why'd you hit me? I hate you. <laughs> There's got to be something here, right? Like, what? Oh, that background item, I think, was uh, is oh. like a carrying thing. Yeah? That was a door. What? How, How did you never you just, come in here? We just missed a door? Are you kidding me? That's so funny. Have we just been walking by this? <laughs> <laughs> the boss music started. Sorry, I clipped the microphone. That is hilarious. Oh. The boss music started like, uh-oh, uh-oh, you're in deep doo-doo. And <laughs> it's already dead. Yeah, it's already dead. I thought the grub was going to start some shit. That has got to be... You didn't get here fast enough. <laughs> This has got to be the most annoying laugh I've ever done in my life. No, I liked it. It was High fun. High-pitched, shrill, hyena chortle. There is... Listen. There is no such thing as a bad laugh. Because it means that you're enjoying yourself and having it's fun. True. And that's it, a good thing. Listen. It, Unless you're laughing at, like, racist jokes. Then it's a bad laugh no matter <laughs> how it sounds. <laughs> true. Oh, God. Yeah, no, literally. If anyone has ever made fun of your laugh, if you've ever made fun of everyone's laugh, yeah. stop it. Don't make fun of other people's laugh. And yeah. if people make fun of your laugh, shit, dude, your laugh is what makes you unique. It's what yeah, makes yeah. you you. It's cool. Absolutely agree. I, I think it's great. Laughs are good. Laughs are Laughs good. are funny. Where's Cornifer? Maybe we should go back to the shop. Oh, yeah, maybe Cornifer. <laughs> there's got to be a closed sign. Yeah, sorry, we don't have anything. We've sold all of our maps. Yeah. 
They're, they they missed each other, all right? I, I, oh, no. Sock uh, on the door. Wielder, you've returned. Let me have a look at the dream nail. No problem. So much chest. So bright. So bright. You truly are the wielder my tribe so long has dreamed of. So, yeah, no, so if this is bright, right, if I'm right on what we're talking about, Monomon, the teacher, the old light, right, yeah. is something born from the dreams, from the essence. Mm. Okay. The folk of my tribe were born from a light, light similar to essence, similar to that powerful blade, so much, though brighter, <laughs> <laughs> you and me both, though much brighter still. They were content to bask in the. <laughs> I just want like nice just sitting there like Stop the, the seers going. Hey, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Knight just does not care. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I say is canonical, don't you know? Yes, true. They were content to bask in that light and honored it for a time. Interesting. But another light appeared in our world, and a oh. worm that took the form of a king. Yeah, oh, there we so, go. Yeah, yeah. So uh, my so my guess is on the whole thing, right? Like. The worm and the king, right? The worm was king, but the worm then birthed something else into the world. And that's what I think the world kind of perceives as the king and the queen. I don't think the thing that we saw on the throne was necessarily a worm because Bardoon said the worm was huge, right? And that dude was tiny. Yeah. I don't know. I think the worm is the king. No, I, that's what I'm saying. The worm is the king. Yeah. But what we saw, what we were calling you think the it was king. Like, maybe it was like a figurehead. Yeah, and we've seen that talked about in the lore of the one guy, right? Right. Oh, man. Okay, we're in the form of a king. How fickle my ancestors must have been. They forsook the light that spawned them, turned their backs to it, forgot it even. Really? And so this kingdom was born from that betrayal, but the memories of that ancient light still lingered. Hush whispers of faith. Until all of Hollowness began to dream of that forgotten light. Wow. Until all of, wait, all of Hollowness began to dream, to dream of that forgotten. So that's why I think that these, these dreams, right? The, these dream figures, these dream fights and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's the old light, I have to assume? We should listen to the rest of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, but what's done is done. And so am I. The wielder has at last appeared and I've held the memories of my tribe for long enough. It is time for us to be forgotten, too. She was about to wither away. Yeah, it's just about get to dusted, die. Get snapped by... Uh, they will have been a ghost all along or something. <laughs> <laughs> or we're going to have to fight oh, them. Okay, all right. It's time for us to too. Don't remember us, Wielder. Don't honor us. We do not deserve it. But I want to... Ah. Oh, no! I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Light. Radiance, I remember you. I was about to say uh, they're doing a they're doing a stance they haven't done. They're looking up, right? Yeah, they've been looking up for a while. Yeah, I remember you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Okay. Yeah, they were a ghost the whole time. Huh? All right. Goodbye. Hello. Are you there? <laughs> we can't even dream nail <laughs> them. Wow. <clears throat> so that was really just you got the six hundred. Really, to just get that 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 bit of lore. Dang. You let them Come. rest. That's what they wanted. I mean, yeah, it's true. Interesting. I would have thought that there would have been another one for like 3,000 or something, right? But I like that wow. they just got a bunch of pillows and were chilling. Yeah, they were just, they were just, they were living their best life, honestly, yeah, right? They were like, <laughs> like, we're beyond redemption, but I'm going to be comfy I'm, before I'm gonna be, I go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to feel nice and good. No, what That's I'm so saying. That's so interesting. Yeah, really, so, right? This world came of their tribe forgetting the old light. Yeah, right. It's, uh, so a new light appeared, and it was just tempted them away from the light that created them. Yep. Yeah. Interesting. That's a word for it, right? So all of the dreamers are made of old light, potentially. Yeah, yeah. That, that's kind of what we're thinking but now. the new light is the, like, temptation that turns you into a baseless... Zombie instinct that alone. only follows instinct. Yeah. yeah. Holy shit. Interesting. Okay. So cool. God, that's a word for it, isn't it? I, I what? Didn't, I oh. didn't get this. Yeah. Oh, cool. Smack Hello. that egg. Smack that Whap. egg. So dark. Well, maybe you should look at the light. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you should come out of your shell. Oh, hey, shells. Let me rest. Fuck. No, you. get out here. <laughs> Idiot. Shit. All right. Well, this was. This is cool. This is cool. Nice I, I really like hole. this room. Uh, 
I'm gonna do all three attacks. Bam! Mm. Anything? Nope. Do anything for you? No, Nothing? they're dead. All right, true. True! Okay. Um. Wow. Okay. I mean, We've being dead doesn't really stop things in this game. It sure game, doesn't. It's a homestuck freaking game. Mm. Um, <laughs> we still game. didn't go to the... Damn it. Okay. Go to the cast off show. We got distracted. Do we do that now? Or do we late? Let's just do it. Okay. Let's just do we're, it. We're gonna whatever. do it, and then we're gonna go to Deep Nest. Okay. Quick skip, and then Deep Nest. It's gonna be a long skip. We're gonna drag this skip out. This is gonna be the longest skip of your life, gonna, it's buddy. It's gonna be like the the freaking Slim Jims. You're never getting out of this skip. XL Slim Jim. Ooh, extra large Slim. Extra large Slim Jim probably got some. Badass endurance. God, I'm hungry. I want a Slim Jim. Oh, you should talk to the people in town. Ah, uh, he's, oh, he's there. He's there. Oh, my. Casey, sorry, Jesus. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Can you start over? Go back uh, yeah, out and okay, come back in. Yeah, okay, yeah. Let's redo. Yeah, here we go. Genuine reaction. Wow. Grab it, grab it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hi. How are you doing? Uh, After more supplies, you've already bought so much. Unfortunately for now, you've cleaned <laughs> us out of anything worth selling. Cornifer will no doubt be pleased, though I do wonder what he plans to spend all that <laughs> geo on. Nothing. He's just planning on sleeping forever. Let's talk to you. Cornifer's home at last, but look at him. He's exhausted. He always does this, furiously charts a place, then collapses once he's done. <sighs> He'll be sleeping for some time, I imagine. So even with him home, I'm still lost for company. Ah, but I do love the bug, even his faults. Seeing his passion for maps, it's something of an inspiration. Corny. Aw, Corny. <laughs> what? So cute. Corny keeps asking me to join him on his adventures, and I've always declined. Maybe next time I should accept the offer. No, you can stay out of what's going on down there. No, it's fine. No, I love I that want he wants her I to do, come I with do him, too, though. But I don't want either of them yeah, down there. Yeah, they're going to be in the Queen's Garden as corpses holding <laughs> hands. I'm glad yeah, I put down my weapon. This quiet life with Corny makes me a lot happier. It would be nice to stretch my legs again, though, sometime soon. Mm. Yeah, they're totally going to go down together for the final map piece. Mm. Have you seen them, the travelers who set up a camp outside of town? I was interested at first. Not a lot has been happening lately, but they have a sinister feeling to them. You can feel it, right? Yeah. <laughs> I've told Cornifer he's not to speak to them. His heart and his mind are a little too open sometimes. <laughs> That's me as fuck. Hello? Sanjo. Are you enjoying yourself down in the ruins? At times, my husband makes Hollowness sound like a wonder, but at sometimes it seems like a ghastly, dangerous place. Yup, that's, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Oh, so cute, though. Yeah, I just, I really wanted to talk to them, you know, see. Oh, how? <laughs> they're still going at it, yeah. You know what? Why not? Let's see, which one are we on now? What are we on right now? Go ahead, this is you. <laughs> Precept 10, keep your weapon sharp. To make sure that my weapon life ender is kept well sharpened at all times, this makes it much easier to cut things. Okay, bye. Are you still feeling the same? Are you still feeling <laughs> your lemon? Yeah, you're still feeling the same way, right? Yeah, okay. I can fight another new form of him. I thought we got further than 10. I don't remember. Maybe we got... Is, is 10 all there is? No, let's read one more. Let's just to make sure. <laughs> Mothers will always betray you. I do have mommy issues. I this don't like talking about it. This precept explains itself. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're going so back let's, under. We're let's going. talk about this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They, their innermost thought is that they have disappointed their father. Yes. And one of their precepts is that their mother will always betray you. Yes. Is it... <laughs> yeah, no. So, I, actually, that kind of so brings me to a thought I've been I having. I was about to say, they might be a vessel, right? Yeah. Because if they're a vessel, it makes sense that the mother and father would betray them because that'd be the king and queen. Well, but interesting, like, if they want to make the father proud, right? Because I think we're born from the the fathers, right? Right. Uh, we're born from that, the some sort of... Wait, where am I going? Yeah, I'm in the right area. I guess we're not going to skip here. Um, 
yeah, my thought is that like so in the Queen's Garden, right? Yeah. There's one area where it says the um the grave of something, right? Yeah. Oh, the, the grave of the of, of the traitor. To which we're presuming that has something to do with the um Wasn't it the grave of the traitor's child or something? Yes, it was the grave of the traitor's child, which we're presuming to be some form of like um have to do with the mantises, right? Cuz the mantises have gone orange-eyed and 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 stuff. Right. Um Whoa, I can come up here. Hello? Have I been up here? I don't have know. I been up here? Uh, yes. Probably. Uh, uh, um, but yeah, so totally out there theory, right? I don't think this is true. Okay. Uh, but it could be. Could the queen have been a traitor? The queen. The queen, yes. Hmm. So my my thought, right? A lot about the king, well, what is perceived to be the king of the queen, right? The, the, the two people that we're going to get the white vessels from. Right. Was mostly unknown. Right. But all we know is the Highlanders believed in them. At the very least, they believed in the king. We see a lot about the king, whereas we haven't seen a lot about the queen. And a lot about the queen in this area, like, here's the king station next to the city, and then all the way out here, Queen's Garden, Queen's Station, right? Yeah. Separate. So I wonder if maybe behind the scenes the queen was in some form of traitor, right? Hmm. Which brings me to another thought. Hornet mentioned that they were born similar to us, but different. A little bit more, right? Mm -hmm. If we were born from the king, was Hornet born from the queen? Yeah, I kind of wonder if Hornet was born from the queen in some yeah. way. Uh, because that could help explain... Uh, but maybe the cornet was born from the queen to combat what the king was doing. Yes, so that's yes, what you're that's thinking. What makes her a traitor. Interesting. Where does the traitor's child come in? Though? I don't know. Like a like a prince or a princess kind of deal. I don't know. And see, that's kind of what puts me into thinking of like, oh, maybe this isn't the case. Yeah. Maybe Hornet was dead all along. I don't. I don't know about the traitor, or being anything like that being, uh, or the traitor's child. But I would buy that Hornet was made by the Queen. Mm -hmm. I think that one, I think, sounds really plausible at this point with what we have. Yeah. I Yeah, because <laughs> that's kind of where I'm sitting to. It's just, it's possible, right? Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> I like being able to tell in a conversation when you're going to have the, we don't want spoilers, little <laughs> ghost pop oh, yeah. <laughs> on oh, screen. Oh, God. Wow, you guys are getting it so bright! <laughs> yeah. It's, it's funny, I, um, people did such a good job of being like, oh, you guys are doing a good job of guessing stuff right, or you guys are doing, you yeah. know, like an iffy job, but it's like, I, I never fully, oh, it's just, I thought that was a grub. I never fully remember what's going on in the part, oh, this Music is totally, stopped. well, yeah, because this is where we fought Hornet, and this is yeah. totally blocked off now. Um, but it's just interesting. I never know what we've said is right and what we've said is wrong. And, and I, I don't want to. I exactly. Don't, yeah, don't, don't want to know. To, which I, is why it's so I don't cool. like it when people are like, you've got this 97% right. It's like, don't give me a percentage. I know. Like, I don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Everybody, but, um, everyone experiences games so differently, right? I, I have to wonder if, if people who play the game want to hear that, would want to hear that themselves, right? Yeah. I don't know. Hard to say. Uh, but regardless, we're going to do one more skip. Uh, as I, I am, we are going out to deep nest this part literally right now. So we're going to do one last cut uh, as we go over to deep nest. Good goodbye. Goodbye. I'll miss you. Goodbye. Oh god, I thought you were fucking dead. Goodbye. <gasps> Bugs. <laughs> yes, bugs. <laughs> We're back. Um, I want to come back here to see, you know, oh we've got God. so many of these now, right? That uh, See, that's what I'm looking for. I'm seeing what kind of special stuff we can get, right? Yeah. Whether it be uh, a pale ore, whether it be a piece of heart or a piece of the, the mask, a uh, piece of soul. We, don't, we really don't need money at this point, where as far you, as I can tell. Where do you think that they what? got all oh. this? Those are almost on top of each other. I, I don't know. I mean, this maybe this is just his life savings. Maybe we're like, gonna pick up the money. I want to do it all at the same time. Oh yeah, baby. Two inspects. That's, do it. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see. Hey, yeah, or. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Whoa. I you, was not. You did a lot of movement just then. I can. I think I can level up to the final nail. Ooh. King's, King's idol. Nice. Okay. Look well, at. This, wait. Look. Walk around the room. <laughs> I want to see all the baby holes Look filled at in. All the baby holes. There's one hole left on the far right side. There is. Uh, one down there. 
Only two that are visible to me. Wow. Oh, wait. There's a third one right there in the foreground. Yep. Yep. So there's, there's still a couple. But it's funny. There's definitely more than three. That is so um, cool. That is really, really cool. Well, now, shit. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take you with us on a bit of adventure so we can talk a bit more about lore and stuff. I love adventures. Um, uh, big apologies if just, you know, this discussion of lore. I, I've apologized for so much in the series. And y'all are always just like, we well, like it. Yeah, I'm sick of I, your shit. Stop me, apologizing. I know. See, that's what a lot of people say, right? A lot of people say, <laughs> stop saying sorry. Uh, not necessarily in the series, but I, I get oh, that a lot. Other as people a person. aren't allowed to say that. Um, Only I'm but, allowed to say that. See, I, I think the idea is, though, right? I like letting people know where my headspace is, right? Yeah. If I do everything unapologetically all the time, I, I feel like it tears on that line of not necessarily arrogance, right? But saying something as simple as sorry, right? Uh -huh. Shows that, like, my my process on this is that this isn't necessarily what I would want to do, but it's what we're going to be doing regardless. I think me and you Ow. have a good balance, right? Because uh, you apologize too much, and I don't apologize. True. <laughs> also, I'm killing just in case I need, like, 10,000 Geo. <laughs> For the record, I don't apologize for things we do in a Let's Play, right? Mm -hmm. I do apologize in real life. Sure. Sometimes. <laughs> Depending on the situation. <laughs> like, oh if I God. accidentally boop our cat with my toe, I will apologize for the rest of the day. But if she stabs me, like, in the throat, then it's, it's, it's up in the air, honestly. I would air, never honestly. accidentally stab you in the it throat. It would be intentional. You're right. I'm sorry. I did accidentally stab my mom in the hand once. God damn it. <laughs> accidentally. It was an accident. Okay, so we were both in the kitchen. I was doing dishes. Uh, mm -hmm. And I turned around with a knife, and she was there. But, yo, what up? <laughs> and that's why you say behind when you're in a kitchen and somebody yep. has a knife. True. She didn't bleed. Good. Yeah, her skin is very rubbery. Apparently, <laughs> my mom might be a, a might, sound. She might be a cyborg. We're, <laughs> we're figuring it out. Oh man! But yeah, I feel like that's that's just why Oops. I say things like, "Oh, I'm sorry." I just want you to know where I'm feeling at the moment. I don't want you to take it as like seriously as like I am just I feel terrible right now. Right. That's why I'm apologizing, right? I think that much like a car horn. The ability to say sorry and to honk your horn can mean different things at different times, right? <laughs> if somebody's cutting you off and you're honking at a horn, sure, you're mad, right? Yeah. But also, if you're trying to let somebody know that like their left um, turn signal is out, you give them a little honk, you let them know. Yeah. It can mean different things to say the same thing. And that's yeah. how I feel about it. Sometimes, it just sucks. God, he's got a big beard. He's a big, big My friend beard. He's staying outside. It's fine. Uh -huh. Mm. Oh, you've returned. I see you have some pale ore. A rare fine, a rare fine metal that. Give me the ore and some geo for my efforts, and I'll reforge your nail to make it stronger. 4,000. That's jump That's, yeah. I've thrown more than that to a fountain. And also given <laughs> money As to As you a wish. I'll get to work then. Criminal. I love this. <laughs> Boom. So Ooh, cool I love, looking. Yeah, it's so cool. So now the best, well, I'm assuming the best now. It's done. The reforging is done. Your nail is much stronger than it used to be. As strong as it could ever be. In only your, in only your weapon have I seen such potential. Finally, I behold the majesty of a pure nail. To think this moment has come upon me so soon. I no. I must step aside a moment. No. I've mean, got a friend out there who really wants to shoot you dead. <laughs> Whoa. Please be okay. I know, that's, that's what I'm thinking, right? Oh my, he's just gonna be dead. Just like the freaking seer. So let's see, the pure nail. Wow, that even kind of looks like the stuff in the um the, the white palace. It looks, yeah. Why are you here now? So what is that? Oh. oh. The, okay, Ian. Dream nail. This is the last stag's sh uh, bug sona. <laughs> I could see that, yeah. My life's work achieved. <gasps> don't, don't. Don't. Is he gonna jump off the cliff? What? Don't. Don't. Why would you do that? Talk to him? I wouldn't. No. Okay. Because if I don't talk to him, he won't jump off a cliff for no goddamn reason. He's not. Is he going to I jump off? I don't know. He is positioned he like he's going like he's to jump going off to. the cliff. Jump off the cliff before him and see how far of a jump it is. 
Oh, he's 100% gonna jump off this cliff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, man. Did we talk to him or did we just leave him there? Oh, we I don't know. We talked to him. Let's know. just do it. Yeah, I, maybe he won't. Maybe he'll no, go I mean, back inside. I mean, the lights are off. The lights are off in his house. Come on. And his eyes are closed. Come on. <sighs> and he said to think it would come so soon. Thank God Zote's alive at least. Am I right, You're gamers? Gonna, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. You're setting yourself up. No. Uh, With a pure nail forge, my work in this lifetime comes to an end. My only remaining desire is to see and feel the nail strike true. I beg you, cut me down. My final moment in life, I want to taste the blade's exquisite edge. For all this time, all this toil, haven't I earned it? I'm not doing that. Absolutely fucking not. Yeah, I'm not, not doing that. I, oh. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. No. Yeah, I'm not doing that. No. I'm not going to. What? Why would I do that? No. Why would I do that? Just Is ask it? yourself, why would I do that? You, you would. <laughs> Did we Google the because this is kind of feeling like something like we should maybe like look at like I, I don't like I, don't I no because don't no shut up put your phone down we're not googling it no I <laughs> what do we do I didn't want to hit the freaking bank person right yeah and they turned out all right and they stole from us what did this yeah. person do helped us made an ale have a cool beard yeah why would I but he wants it that's literally what he wants us to do yeah what what happens if we leave and come back right. Is, is he just gonna jump? Are we gonna see his body go boop? You know? I mean, I don't. I wouldn't <laughs> assume so because, like, he wants to be struck by the nail, right? Yeah, I mean, you're right, but like. Well, I laugh without thinking, but like. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a little dangerous. I. Oh, come on! This game, man! I, I want them to stop killing our friends. He's gone! Is he inside? Did he go back into town? Jump off the edge. See if he's down there. Oh, come on. Where no? did he go? He's just gone? Maybe he went back to town. That's no. Do you really think he went back to town? I don't know. He's gone. Oh, my God. What the hell? That's so weird, right? Like, we didn't miss out on getting a... a a charm, did we? Because charms are made from people's final moments. Strong, passionate final moments, right? Yeah. I swear to God, if we just miss out on a charm, we can't, like, 100% the game now. Because of that what I will be uh, upset. I, uh, frustrating. Do, I don't know. Do you want to, like, pause and talk about it? Do you, by talk about it, do you mean... Like, potentially go back and smack him? Oh, my God. Yeah, guys, give us one second. We're going to think it through. Yeah. Okay. So, we thought about it, right? Yeah. And I'm kind of thinking to myself... Think about the thing that we did with Zote, right? Right. We we, we went to... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we 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 did Zote in the Coliseum. We did... Sorry, I could have worded that better. Uh, we fought Zote in the Coliseum, and then after that... He was in Dirt Mouth, right? Yeah. So I don't maybe, know if maybe he's go in... to Dirt Mouth later. Yeah, I'm thinking like I could. <sighs> I'll go to Dirt Mouth later. I need to go to Deep Nest. No, but to dirt, yeah. I'm literally going. <sighs> Here's the thing, right? Yeah. If we hit him, yes, he was dead. Right. Like there's no. If we hit him, he was dead. Yeah. yeah. Right now, it's up in the air whether or not he's dead. Yeah. That's... We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. But I think even if killing him would have given us a charm. Yeah. I don't want a charm from mm. killing somebody who did us a favor. That's true. I, right? It's, I, I think, even though he asked us to, right? Yeah. I Listen, if I was at Kmart and an old man said, I've always dreamed of you choking the life out of my veins. <laughs> I'm not obliging him even though he asked. True. You know, I, like sometimes you say no to requests. <laughs> I feel like well, you know would be kind of cool what? if like he's somewhere else and he's like, "You dumb bitch, you're supposed to kill me," and then fights us. That would be fun. That would be kind of cool. Because though. at least I would feel less bad if he started a fight with exactly, us. Exactly. Exactly. I, I mean, I would still feel bad, but Anybody I would around? feel less bad. I don't. I don't Anybody see around? Him. Go, go inside. Go to the graveyard. 
This is all this area over here, right? Hello. Nope. Okay. Um, we didn't check us. inside of any of the rooms. Cornifer was inside. Yeah, I'm going in your, in your room. Nope. I well, I didn't think hers yeah. would. Yeah. But like, where where could we go? I mean, I kind of oh, wonder if oh, her. Oh, I know. Let I kind of wonder if her fan fiction has updated. Okay, no, no, I was expecting it to be here because... That would be nice. Yeah, because, like, I mean, this guy's the nail master, right? Yeah. I hear about the strangers that have come to town. They're strange indeed from what's been told. What interest does this little tired, this tired little place hold for them? I'm thinking you may know the answer to that. None of my business, of course, but I'd be wary of their deals and promises. Keep your nail half drawn if you understand me. Ah, oh, nice. My last place to check is the corner for his area, but other than that, uh... I could be in the cave all the way at the end, but that'd be really weird. Yeah. Um, he's feeling I'm, like he's not in dirt mouth. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling. Oh, sorry, sorry, Emily. sorry. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> so well, this big friend. Really? Okay, Hello, bye. little baby. I love them. They're actually great. It's the cutest. <sighs> all right. Casey. That doesn't mean... It doesn't mean he's dead. <laughs> he might be dead, Casey. No, it doesn't mean he's dead. Next time on Born Losers you Gaming. Know what, you know what sucks about Hollow Knight? Yeah. We, like, we found Zote in the most random ass backwards places ever. Yeah. Like, why would we ever think to go back to the Coliseum, right? Yeah. So even if this dude is alive, mm. who the hell knows where he is? <laughs> we could be on this wall right here. Next time uh, I'm this is gaming. Deep Nest. Next time I'm born, this is gaming. Deep, deep Nest. nest. Next time I'm born, this is gaming. Deep, deep Nest. <sighs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Really? Thank like you for clicking that, that bell. Going to no, I don't care about the bell. It's whatever. Don't, don't click the bell. You literally the don't bell care sucks. about the bell. It's whatever. You I know what's down there, though? What? The like button. <gasps> oh, my God. Well, I, I think it's fine. Click literally, that like button. I think they already are. Give it a big fat. Thumbs oh up. my god, give it your fattest thumbs up you ever can, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we do not want to know what happens to the bug. Do not tell us in the comments below what happens to the bug. But do tell us about your fat thumb. Stop. <laughs>